Alright, Watchmen. Yes, I saw it. I know I originally said I wasn't going to see it, but that's because I read into what was in it, and I didn't want to see that with my dad, because I thought that'd be kind of weird. But hey, I saw it without him, because he bought my ticket, you know, because we're cool like that. Anyway, um, yeah, I saw it today. I didn't have school today, but I have school tomorrow, and it's already 9 o'clock, so I'm not really going to ed edit this video. I'm not really going to put much effort into it. I just kind of want to get it on there, because I don't really think I have all that much to say. Yes, it was a pretty insane movie. I really, really liked it. I have not read the graphic novel. A lot of critics are saying that people that have not read the graphic novel are going to be confused. I really wasn't confused. There are a few things that I don't really think I answered. I think they were probably explained more in the novel. Like, do they age? Like, that? that's the one big thing that really confused me. Like... Well, they kept saying stuff about Dr. Manhattan and aging, but, like, did any of the characters age? Or maybe they just did and just didn't really show on film. It was... Or maybe not. But, um, yeah. I like... I try to be mature on subjects subjects like male nudity, but come on. It was like, couldn't he put on a banana hammock or something? It was like, not only did we really not need to see that a million times... But it just seemed kind of silly at some point. It was like big action scenes where he was blowing stuff up. And he's standing there with his giant blue schlong hanging to his knees. But, um, yeah, it's from the director of 300. That guy's a big fan of the slow-mo. It didn't get on my nerves as, as much as I thought it was. Um, I think it was a lot more annoying in 300. I thought they really overdid it in that movie and in some scenes. In this movie, I do think some scenes were a little over-stylized. Because some scenes it wasn't even um, slow motion. It was like, and like it would like pause there, and they'd be like, and they'd go like super fast. And yeah, but m on the most part, it was really good action. Um, maybe the most violent movie I've ever seen. Holy crap, there's some gruesome stuff in this movie. But yeah, you've probably already seen it. Sorry that this review is so late. But if you haven't, do check it out. Don't be worried if you haven't read the graphic novel. I haven't, and I was fine. It probably does change. You probably will like it a little bit more if you have read the graphic novel. But some people seem disappointed, but I don't know. The only real question I have is, though, what the heck are critics smoking? It got, like, 62 on Rotten Tomatoes, I think. And in my local paper, it only got two and a half stars out of four. Are you joking? This movie was insane. Yeah, so, um, fantastic movie. The characters are great. The action is awesome. It's visually stunning. And at almost three hours long, I was not bored. This is a great movie. Overall, I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. And I might see Race to Witch Mountain tomorrow, so I guess you can look out for that. See ya.